Salam, I am Aykul Ilyasis. I am a teacher at Taraz Bilim Innovation Lyceum and today I am going to explain the same transportation prepositions. So, we use mostly them with the theme traveling and usually we get confused with prepositions to use. We have different prepositions, for example, by, in, on and some phrasal verbs. Get on or get out of something or maybe get off something. So today we are going to try and understand the usage of transportation prepositions. So the first preposition we are going to look at is by. By. So just simple preposition and when do we usually use it? For example, how do you travel to Taras? I travel to Taras by bus. Or how are you going to travel to London? I travel to London by plane, then by train, and last by car. So here, as a first usage, we use it with the words in general. General about traveling. Secondly, we use it with um, words. I travel by car. I travel by train. Bus, plane, and there can be a lot of words. So the most important thing is that all of them are types of transportation or vehicles. So we use by with types of vehicles. And thirdly, we also can say, I travel by air, I travel by road. road. I travel by sea. We cannot hear, I travel by rain. So all of them are transportation environments or services. So here are the three uses of the preposition by general meaning. Secondly, we use with types of vehicles and thirdly, with types of environments. Another prepositions that we are going to look at are on and in. Preposition in and on. So, here's a question. Where are you? I am in a car or sometimes we can say I am on a train. So, which preposition should we use? In or on? That's the question. So, in. Where are you? We can be in a car. We can be in a helicopter. We can be in a robot. And we can be in a taxi. Mm -hmm. So, we usually use uh, the preposition in with the vehicles uh, that we can only sit in while in the motion. So, uh, I can stand while in the motion in a helicopter, in a taxi, in a robot, or in a car. So, that's why I use preposition in here. Preposition on. So, where are you? I am on a plane. I am on a train. I am on a bus. I am on a bike. 
and on a motorcycle. Here I am on a ship. I am on a ferry. Or even I am on a horse or on a camel. So we use preposition on with those types of vehicles that while in motion we stand. We can only stand while in motion. So for example, um, I travel on a plane. On a plane I can stand. On train, on bus, even in a bike. It's like I'm standing rather than sitting. Motorcycle is the same way. A ship, ferry is a larger ship where you can walk or stand during the motion. And horse and camel sometimes we use preposition onto horse. Onto. But also still it makes sense that you can stand while in motion. So that's it. So uh, the, when we uh, start traveling, you get in a car. Get in a car, a helicopter, you get in a robot or get in a taxi. So when you finish traveling, you get out of car. Get out of car, get out of helicopter, get out of robot and get out of taxi. So that's a phrasal verb that we use together. With the preposition on, when you start your traveling, you also get on. You get on a plane, get on a train, get on a bus, get on a bike, get on a motorcycle, get on a ship, get on a ferry. But when you finish your traveling, you get off it. So you get off plane, you get off the train, you get off the bus, you get off the bike, you get off the motorcycle, ship and ferry. So also uh, when you travel on foot, we also travel on foot. Here we can add work. And when you finish, you get off your shoes and relax. Sometimes uh, we can use in and on with the car and train, for example. But there would be uh, subtle differences. Let's study them. For example, question, where are you? I want to say that I am in the car and on the train. So I can say, Where are you? I am in the train. Sometimes I can say I am on the train. So here both variants are possible, but there is a small difference that um, in this case, where are you? I am on the train. So I mean in general, I travel by train. So the meaning that general, what I use for travel is train. General. In general, is a way of traveling. When I say I'm in the train, so uh, 
it means I want to tell you about my location. It means that I'm inside the train. Gives information about location of the speaker. And if somebody asks you, where are you? And you say, I am in the car and I am on the car. So let's uh, see the differences. I in the car and I on the car. In this case, I am in the car, so the meaning. So I am inside the car. And if you say I am on the car, it's also possible you might say that, but the meaning will be that you are on the top of the car. You are on the That is the subtle differences uh, in usage of in and on with car and train. Okay, that is the last thing that I wanted to share with you for today. If you know somebody who is struggling with exactly this point in English language, so just help them out, share this video. Thank you for studying with me today. Bye!